Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Julia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me, so if you would like to just hang out with me, just keep on watching. Alright you guys, let's just get started by priming my face. I've been using this um, L'Oreal Miracle Blur, but I cut it in two because the product wasn't really coming out anymore and it was just kind of thick. And so I just... Ooh, I just cut it in two and have just been putting it into a baggie, like a resealable baggie. I have only moisturized my face. I That was it. And my skin is looking pretty good today. And so which is kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video. And also because I just watched a couple of these. And once I watch Get Ready With Me videos, that always, like, gets me in the mood to, I don't know, just chit-chat with you guys. And, yeah, this is me in my, like, true, this is me in my natural habitat. I, this is exactly how I do my hair. And exactly, I have, like, this little black house coat that I wear when I do my makeup because my makeup, the powder tends to get all over my clothes. And so I just throw this thing on. It's kind of just like a little robe sweatshirt thing. And this is exactly how I do my hair when I get ready because it just, I feel like it just kind of adds some volume. And so I just put this clip in. And I have a lot of hair, so um, I have to get it just right. And so I have to put it horizontally. Like if you guys are having trouble using these monster clips, try putting it in horizontally on your head. Sorry, you guys, this might be a little bit scatterbrained because it's sort of hard for me to talk and do my makeup at the same time. Whoops. I'm playing some Pandora music, but an advertisement was just playing. So I'm just going in with this brown color. I kind of just want to focus on a more simple look today whatever, you know, I'm just kind of throwing some makeup on, nothing crazy, nothing too particular. And all of the products that I use I will list below. So do you guys watch The Bachelor? I actually, so I'm like a faithful Bachelor watcher. And this past week, I watched like half an hour of it, and then I was just too tired, so I went to bed. And then I just read like a recap. I just really messed up my eyeshadow, you guys. This past week, I just read a recap the next day. And I, at the beginning of the season, I really liked Ben. And then... As soon as I realized that he was saying I love you to two different women, I was like really annoyed because how could he let himself do that? I just, I know that that's kind of like the, a danger of being on that show is, you know, that can happen, I guess, but it's just like, if I were one of those women, if I were, who's left, JoJo and Lauren B., um, I, and I knew that he had said I love you to me and this other person. Like, what in the world? I would not feel special at all. Do you guys know what I mean? Alright, so that's literally all I'm doing is I'm just doing some crease color. And I just used the brown eyeshadow that I'm trying to use up before March 22nd. I don't know if that'll happen, but I'm trying to, like, incorporate a little bit of it every day. And the other thing that I feel about The Bachelor is I feel like both of those women who are left are really cool. But I just don't know. I just don't get how you, how they could say I love you already. I don't know exactly how many weeks they've been dating Ben, but I think it's been, you know, probably a couple months or so. I don't know. What do I know, though? My mom always says, like, if you, 
you'll know whether you're meant to be somebody within a year of dating them. I mean, and I know that, you know, there has been bachelor couples that have, bachelor and bachelorette couples that have stayed together. When feelings get involved, you know, things can get really muddled and tend to not make sense. The other show that I'm watching right now that I'm really liking is, um, Survivor. This, this season is The Brains, Brawn, and Beauty. And I really like, I just think it's funny to like watch the dynamic of all the different, of all the individual teams. My favorite team right now is probably um, The Brain team because, and I, I don't even necessarily, I don't really... I think that if I was on that show this season that I would be so annoyed like with everybody on that brains team but from a spectator's point of view like I love like the dynamic of their team ow just poked my eyeball <laughs> ah this stuff is really really good you guys I would highly recommend it it's the essence volumizing powder this morning while I was having some breakfast I watched sorry if I'm hunching over I've been really trying to work on my posture more I have an office job and I feel like my posture has gotten a lot worse because I tend to just kind of like slouch in the in my chair at work like especially at the end of the day I don't remember what I was just saying but Oh, oh, this morning for during my breakfast I was watching a video on YouTube about spending and versus saving. And I I could appreciate what this person was saying, but I did not 100% agree with what they said. They said, but you know, that's the thing about YouTube is like you have the as a viewer, you have the right to, like, um, you know, accept or kind of differentiate between what you take to be, to apply to your personal life and what you disregard. And she was saying that, like, saving has made her feel so much happier and so much more fulfilled than spending. And I think that generally that statement is true in probably most circumstances, but I definitely don't agree with that statement in all circumstances because, and she was talking about not spending money on like vacations and like life things, but actually, you know, like makeup and like frivolous things. And I have to say that I think that for the most part, spending money, I forgot to put this nude liner in, spending money is a good thing. It's when you kind of get too into it. If you have that extra income to spend, I don't see anything wrong with it. Of course, there's a balance and you need to save and... Yes, I agree with all those things, but I feel like purchasing things makes me really happy on a really, like, simple level. You know what I mean? Like, life can just get so complicated, and to, like, enjoy, like, buying some makeup or something is such a simple thing, and I think that at the end of the day, and at the end of, the, of your life, like, you're not going to look back and regret you know, purchasing, purchasing maybe one too many blushes, you know? And also, I'm definitely, like, myself on a journey of, like, spending and saving because growing up, I, my parents really taught me to save, and that is how I was raised. You know, we didn't spend anything that we didn't have to. And when we did get something, like when my parents did treat us 
like it was such a treat it was just a huge like it was so fun so like for example like we my mom usually wouldn't buy us stuff that we wanted like at the store when we saw it she usually wouldn't get it for us mostly just because of financial reasons like we just couldn't but um then like on my birthday and stuff when she would like a few times she would like take me to the gap or something and I could pick a few things and I just remember how amazingly special that was so for me and like since I grew up like that like saving has always come a lot more natural than spending and I don't I just feel like now that I make my own money and I try to save as much as I can but I don't get too hard on myself about spending money because if you have the money to spend then you know it's your money again of course if you only if you have the option of saving versus spending like if you have that extra disposable income I'm only talking about if you have disposable income if you don't have disposable income then of course you can't you know you have to be smart you have to be smart about your money and that's the thing about YouTube is like I've been having so much fun making these videos and just hanging out with you guys and like commenting and just knowing how much I've enjoyed watching other YouTube videos and making them like I do this only because you know I want to for the most part it's I would say that like successful youtubers really spend a lot of money and invest in in products in equipment filming equipment and lighting and I just can't do that right now I just can't afford that like I'm filming on a camera that I was given and I am just strictly only here because it's fun I actually tend to like watching more like smaller more intimate channels anyways and by intimate I mean like personalized channels like I feel like a lot of the big youtubers have sort of lost that personal touch and they almost it's almost like you're watching like a celebrity or like a reality TV show or something when you watch their channel but I feel like most like 99% of people who have a lot of subscribers really like have extra money to spend that's like I feel like that's like the main way that you get views on YouTube is like hauls and videos that have users that have really good video quality which you know that's good for them and so I I just think that like financially money is what sets you up for success on YouTube and by success, I strictly mean subscriber count. And that is not, that's not everything by any means. I've been getting a lot more into stones and gems lately. My older sister is very much into them. And she has I don't know like she's been kind of encouraging me to get more into them but not like by verbally but just like by her interest it makes me more interested and I always put this bronzery on my collarbone right here I just think it adds like a nice shimmer like especially in the summertime I feel it looks really pretty I purchased this quartz I don't know if you guys can see this quartz necklace it's a quartz pendant and I purchased it at a stone shop and the stone shop is really cool and I've been in there like a couple times and it's very very chill 
and you can there's like classes that you can take and they'll like um, do like meditation classes with you sorry about that you guys my camera cut me off so I just went and did my eyebrows off camera because they take a little while um, so as I was saying we where I got this stone pendant is this really cool stone place and they have so many sorts of gems and like I love like just going around and not only are the stones beautiful but they um, have like these little pieces of paper that say like the meanings of that stone and like you know so like for example like this stone promotes peace or you know like constraint it relieves stress. My older sister and I recently went back to this store because we were looking for a gift for our younger sister because both my older sister and I um, have these quartz pendants. So we were looking for one for my little sister's birthday and we did end up finding one at a different store and I'm gonna give that to her before this video goes up. I just have been like really getting into like visiting stone stores. <sighs> Some of them are definitely like more extreme than others, but for the most part, they're just really cool and really chill. And one thing that I really love about all the stores that I've gone into is the fact that they don't stare at you weird or they don't like I feel like they trust that you're not going to steal anything there's like so many stores that I go into that I just feel straight up uncomfortable because I just feel like people are like staring or like if you're carrying like a bigger purse which there's no laws against carrying a bigger purse you know, people just automatically assume that you're, like, trying to steal stuff. And it's like, no, I would never, I would never even think about doing something like that. But anyways, at these, like, stone stores, for the most part, my experience has been, like, they're just so chill and, like, like, very, there's usually, you know, meditational music playing. Just been really getting, like, more into stones and... I want more pendants like I especially love jewelry so this is quartz and I have a ring that's moonstone and then I have another ring that's moonstone and then I think that's pretty much all I have for stone I especially like jewelry because I like wearing the pieces my sister has a lot of like loose stones that she like has around her home and I think you know maybe once I get more into it I'll get some pieces and then we went into this other store, this other stone store that like we didn't even know of, but we were looking for something very particular. So this lady at this different stone store kind of pointed us towards this other stone store because they didn't have it. And they were like, oh, this store might have it. So we went there and this store was awesome. And there was just one woman working there and she was so relaxed and so, so just calm. And she was just like... Kind of humming and she was like rocking and there's like music playing and I know I you guys wouldn't understand what I even mean but like it was like the most like magical thing and there was like all these displays in this store there was like hanging branches with like jewelry hanging off of it it was really cool and they were all like kind of swaying and sh and she was like rocking and they were like swaying with her I swear and I was the jewelry in there was absolutely beautiful and it turned out that she had made most of the jewelry <sighs> and oh my gosh the jewelry was just beautiful okay so I need to keep stay focused just spraying on some of my homemade little elixir this has water in it Manoy miracle oil and tea tree oil and I always just spray that to kind of just add some moisture to my face. My face has been pretty dry lately, but it's been getting better. I've been really trying to stay focused on moisturizing it. 
actually I have this moisturizer that I think has made a huge huge difference I might do a video on it and if I don't do a video on it then it'll definitely be in my favorites I have a few products that I really love and I feel like I need to do like a product spotlight on them because like a video specifically based on this product just because I love them that much and I feel like there's not really any videos on them and I just feel like I need to just find a way to like get it out there also you guys I have been wanting to vlog more and I created a vlog channel because I felt like I wanted a place to put the these vlogs and I just kind of felt like they didn't really mesh well with the other videos that I have on my channel even though I have posted a few vlogs but anyways I know that like some people really like vlogs and other people it's not really their thing so, I made a vlog channel. I'm still trying to like set it up and everything. So, I don't know if it will be up and running at the time that I post this video. But if it is, I will link it below. So, I just use Max Stone. I haven't used this lip liner in a while because I've been really trying to use a couple of my other lip products up. Alright, you guys. I think I'm finished. Oh, no, wait. I do want to put... A couple of gems on my face. I have this little gem kit and it's by Revlon and it came with this little eyelash glue and these this little like packet of gems and I really like to wear these on the weekends and I'll usually wear one or two. I tend to put them on my cheekbones but I think it'd be really cute as well as like a Marilyn piercing. Oh, should I drop one? Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. And, it, oh, great man. Okay, I got it again, but I'm just going to put a little bit more glue on here. And these stay all day. I haven't had a problem with, with any falling off. Because I've always kind of wanted a dermal, but just something about piercing my face seems so permanent and I know that you can take piercings out but I I don't know I've always wanted a face piercing but I don't think I'll ever get one because it's just such a commitment all right you guys I think that is it I am all ready for the day I'm gonna go do my hair fix my hair and then film a few more videos thank you so much for hanging out with me and just chit-chatting with me and I will see you again very soon bye guys